thought that I would take you guys along and kind of show you guys what we would do on a typical day living in Lima, Peru. It's not gonna be a very exciting video because this is literally what we will do on a daily basis. I'm gonna take you guys along with me to go to the supermarket. I'm gonna try to spend no more than $50. That's the goal, because we have one more week left in Peru, well, in Lima, and then we are gonna go to Cusco. So I'm thinking $50, should cover us for hopefully the rest of the trip and we'll see we'll see that's gonna be the challenge today so haven't decided which supermarket we're gonna go to just yet all the supermarkets are kind of uh, far away from where we are so it's at least like a 15 minute walk always every morning you guys I make my bed the bed is done I showered already I already put on sunblock let me just bring this up to you guys right now my nails you guys I painted them in Ecuador and they were really really nice but now they are not nice. I think I'm gonna have to do something with them because this is not a good look. I have to leave you guys like in a very strategic spot in the bathroom because there's no other place that I can hang. Ah, so you're already falling off. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna quickly do a little bit of something on my face. Also you guys, I am so sorry about the noise. Where we are, I just cannot ever recommend it because it's so loud. Let me actually go close the window. I feel like the, the, the soundproofing of this apartment that we're staying at is non-existent. There's little like ventilation holes in the wall. So like the sound just comes through the holes in the wall. yeah you guys it's so loud here every morning I like wake up I think in a bad mood because it's just impossible to sleep um, I'm using Hula I think everybody uses this bronzer on a daily basis I don't do foundation I just do a little bit of bronzer just to give my face some light and life but yeah you guys it has been so freaking loud every day here that I'm like I'm ready to leave in a way it's been really nice to see Miraflores and Barranco and it is really like a cool area for sure I think it's great besides the freaking noise so anyways I just bronze up my face and then oh man that does not look good <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look bad, it just needs some blending. Oh my gosh. I always get a little blush on my eyes, a little on my nose. I don't want to be a crazy person right now. I think I'm gonna finish up my eyes off camera because I think it's gonna take too long. All right guys, so I just did my eyeliner, a little bit of like, um, like shimmer on the inner corner of my eye this camera is just not focusing and a little mascara and then this is just like my favorite part of all of my makeup always lipstick i just feel like for some reason my lips they aren't like pink they're like more like purpley red so i need like something to brighten up my lips or else i look like i'm dying Anyways, that is the everyday look. Also, I don't know what's been going on. I think it's because maybe I haven't been putting on a lot of uh, foundation or something lately. But my freckles are really showing through. This is the outfit of the day. I feel like I want to call it a leotard, but it's not a leotard. It's just like a one piece and then just shorts. And then I always put on earrings. It's just like my thing. It's Hard to do this one-handed. Been struggling to find good light here, you guys. I right, got my earrings on. It's the look of the day. All right, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. This is what we usually do every morning. We don't have a ton of ingredients today, but I think we have just enough for one more smoothie. Usually. I make my smoothies with spinach and kale. However, it's been really hard to find kale in Peru. I actually haven't found it once. So, our smoothies have only had spinach in them, which is fine. It's just 
sad, but in Ecuador we were able to find kale, no problem, but in Peru, I can't find it at all. So if you guys are from Peru and know where a good place to find kale is, maybe you can leave it in the comment section so that people know that there is kale in Peru because I truly haven't found any. I'm gonna wash this. All right, so smoothie's done. I'm just gonna finish this and then I'm gonna put on my shoes and then go to the supermarket. So here in Peru, we've experienced that at some supermarkets, they require you to have two masks on instead of just one. So I just take two sometimes just in case they ask me because you never know. And then I don't want to walk all that way for nothing. Sam's gonna go, where are you to go? I'm gonna get some coffee. He's gonna go work, or he has to work and he's gonna go grab a coffee at a coffee shop. Hi, Nandia. Oh, it's chilly, are you okay? I know, it is kind of cold. I put on a sweater because actually it's cold today in Lima, which very rare. I also took my hat off because I think that maybe it won't be as hot, so. This is the outfit. That's great. <laughs> so I'm on my way to the supermarket. Let me show you guys. Our Airbnb is like literally bordered. Barranco and Miraflores. I think I'm gonna go to a supermarket that is probably about like 15 minutes away it's called the Ganda or something like that and I feel like having lived here for at least like a week or so now I know that it's like the closest one so that is where I'm headed I also don't know what I'm gonna buy today because I really am not a chef but I do enjoy knowing what I'm eating and like buying things that like I know where they come from and things like that, so I don't know. Maybe we can find some veggies. I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what I want for certain things, and then for other things, I have zero idea. I'm gonna kind of show you guys the way. That way you guys can see how it looks. Like. One thing that I've noticed though in Peru, a few things, is that I definitely feel like walking around in this city definitely does feel safer to me compared to in Quito. I think there's just like a lot of police. It's also uh, Miraflores and Barranco, they're very like touristy areas. It just feels very safe. Like I feel like I can walk around and feel pretty comfortable. At least during the daytime for sure. At nighttime, maybe. I don't know what's going on over here actually. However, I will say that here, the driving I've noticed is pretty crazy. So I don't know if maybe there's an accident going on over there. You have to be careful when you're walking and when you're crossing the street. But anyways, my first point, what I was getting at was that here in Peru, I can't find the best vegetables or the best fruit. Compared to Ecuador that has like the most delicious fruit and vegetables, here it's been a little harder to find. A lot of honking does take place here, I must say. And I hear it from my window every morning. All right, so I put my mask back on and I'm gonna find my 
vaccine card because I know they're gonna ask me for it when I get to the supermarket and we're nearing it. So I wanna make sure I have those two ready. It's a good one. Thinking about getting some mandarins because they're always like a really good snack. My battery's dying, so you guys, I'm sorry if I can't show you everything, but I'm picking out things and I'll show you guys afterwards. So, so far I have pineapple, banana, I have two bags of spinach, and I have four mandarins. The spinach, I think, is like three, 320 sold, so that's like like a dollar. So that's pretty good. Um, everything else I don't really know because I don't know if they count it by units or by kilograms. Some cauliflower, and I found these like shumai things for twelve forty nine sold, so like four dollars or so so not bad i don't really like to eat frozen food but sometimes they have some interesting things so it's kind of worth it to try i'm thinking maybe getting some bread to like have for breakfast there's this one that's three soles which is like a dollar which is pretty good some butter because I feel like we need some to cook with and things. Five souls for that. So here they have a lot of pre-made food. Um, but we had one and it's, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't the best. So I think we're gonna stray away from these for now. But just goes to show that if you are wanting some fast food, you can come to a grocery store and you can get it here. Chicken empanadas. They are 10 souls, but I think they're like a great lunch to have. So I'm gonna get some mayonnaise, which is two souls. All right, you guys, so this is how the basket looks. Um, my camera is gonna die, unfortunately, so I will bring this back to the apartment and then I'll let you guys know exactly what I got. Let's hope this is all under $50. I just got back from the supermarket. I think I did a pretty good job. Everything came out to 146.75 souls, which is about like 48 USD. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got right now. First thing I got was a pineapple. We use pineapple every day for our smoothies, so I needed that. We also got banana, because we also use this for smoothies every morning. I got some bread because I think it's like good for toast in the morning or we can have it with eggs on the side. So that's why I got bread. Um, I got three cans of tuna. I hope things are focusing. Also got banana chips. I think this was like two soles or something. I also bought these tallarines, which I know are not very healthy, but it's like a very quick, easy meal. It's kind of like a take on um, mac and cheese, but the noodles are a little bit like, uh, kind of like ramen-y, I guess. I figured we could like saute these or, I don't know, do something with them. 
These types of mandarins you can find a lot in Lima uh, because I've been seeing them around a lot. So I think they're like from this region or something. Queso fresco. This is like 10 soles and I thought it would be good to have on hand. I also bought some eggs. These are like free range eggs. Um, they're like 10 soles. Chicken empanadas. I bought two of these. This was like two soles and I think this was like four soles for this butter. This I think was like three soles for this big old bag. So like a dollar for this huge bag. And I got corn because I figured I could make esquites at home, which are basically like you cook the corn and then you cut it off the cob. You can dress it up however you want, but usually it's like butter, mayonnaise, salt, basically delicious stuff. That's why I bought the mayonnaise and more butter because we need that for this. I figured we would get something sweet because you know it's always nice to have something sweet. Um, and yeah, I think that should be everything that we need. Anyways, I'm gonna cut up this pineapple and then I need to start working. Um, I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna eat for lunch, I'll show you guys what we do for that, and then I'm gonna show you guys just like whatever else we do the rest of the day. cutting up this pineapple and now I'm gonna make some lunch so I think we're gonna be doing tuna sandwiches so I'm gonna work on that now For lunch, I just made a tuna sandwich. And it's kind of messy, but it's pretty good. I already took a bite. Finishing editing a video, which I'm struggling with right now because my computer is not cooperating the way that it should. Fortunately, I'm still having issues with my computer. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working. Might go on a run in a little bit, and then I'm gonna cook dinner, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'll make. I think tonight I'm gonna make shrimp with rice. Here in Peru, it's been a little bit difficult to get into like a working out rhythm because to use the gym here, you like need a reservation, and it's pretty small, and anyways, it's just more difficult. But today we have decided that we are gonna run and we are gonna go. I'm in some leggings, some sports bra. So we just came back from our run. I just showered and changed. So I think tonight we're gonna do shrimp, veggie rice, and maybe beans or maybe spinach. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, that's what we are doing on the stove right there. Dinner is done. We are having shrimp and beans and rice. I'm gonna taste it. Not bad. All right, you guys, it is 8.30, 8.45 at night, and that concludes the day. So you guys saw me get ready in the morning, make the smoothie, we went to the supermarket, we made breakfast, you saw me work, we went on a run, had dinner, and now it's time for bed. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, A Day in Life, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it'll help me so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. We watched the Tindler Swimmer yesterday and I asked Sam if he could give me $50,000 and directly to my bank account, but that I'll pay him back after.
almost two exercises. Together.